Hey guys, welcome to the channel. So today we're going to be doing a case mod on this little guy right here, the Cougar QBX Kaze. Now this little mini ITX case, uh, I've actually done a review on it and it's uh, it's a very excellent mini ITX case. For those of you who really like like, you know, the very good airflow and and uh, the ultra compact feeling of a mini ITX case, this is probably an option. But let's do a mod on this case, okay? Let's get started. All right, but first things first, let's see what we have here in order to do this case mod. So um, we'll start off with the paint and um, I'm probably gonna not gonna use all of this paint, but we'll just have it there for, you know, just in case. The interesting paint that I'm going to use is the Rust-Oleum Hammered. And uh, to be honest, I've never used this before, but um, I've, you know, the, the texture, it looks really cool, you know? I mean, if, if it comes out like this, like perfectly well, then, I hope it looks something like that. But the only concern I have here is that it says works on metal, wood, and more. I hope the more is plastic as well, but um, yeah, we'll, we'll see how it goes. So that's fine. Next is that uh, we have some uh, painter's tape here. Thanks, for, thanks to one of the subscribers the, that I should uh, start using some painter's tape. So I'll try using this and I heard that it's it's much better and uh, some normal masking tapes here some really good safety first stuff and uh, some screws tweezers filers sandpaper for sanding sanding the the surface off and uh, unfortunately I don't have a sanding block but um, one of the subscriber actually uh, mentioned that I should use a, a, a sanding block as well in order to like you know have a more of a smooth sand instead of having those like finger groves and hopefully this should do fine. I'll wrap the sandpaper on this and uh, maybe I'll use a heat gun for some reason. I don't know. Rulers and of course we have the acrylic stuff right here. So these are uh, two different sizes. This is a three millimeter and this is a two millimeter size and they're both clear ac acrylics. Maybe some papers if I spill some stuff and last but not least we have the Dremel moto saw and of course the case itself i'm gonna start off with this side panel first and do the paint stuff later let's take out this mesh and i was looking at it earlier and we're pretty much lucky that it's uh it's very easy to detach so obviously we just use some some tweezers to pull this out Alright guys, so it turned out to be uh, a pretty clean cut for me. I, I really like the how, how I really match the corners. So uh, I guess the, the filing really helps out. But the only thing that's bothering me is that there's this bit over here which kind of pushes the acrylic like upwards. It'll be a lot nicer if I can sand this this bit down so that the actual acrylic itself can really sink into this to this to this crate or to this curb here right all right guys i've basically stripped the case to the bare bones and uh, thanks to cougar it was very easy to take everything apart so i'll, I'll quickly show what's going on in all the different parts here are the side panels as we saw this one earlier earlier this one will be the window this is on the other side and they're both identical by the way this is the top part and uh, we'll definitely paint this and uh, notice that there's an optical drive over here as well and this is the two feet i'll definitely paint the side because you can see the feet last but not least we got the front part of the case and I've managed to take out the IO ports, which was very, very easy to take out. No problem at all. Notice this round thing and this straight black thing. I might just leave it like as is the black, but I'll take the mesh out and paint it as, as the metallic uh, hammered uh, paint. And yeah, definitely I'll take out the sticker. Now guys, don't forget to sand your parts because uh, 
apparently you know if you take out the surface and uh, you spray paint it over it will stick much better so what I'm gonna do is that I'm just gonna use a sanding paper and uh, my so-called sanding block and hopefully that works fine so I'm just gonna wrap it around something like this so we kind of have this smoothing sanding block all right let's do it So after the sanding session, as you can see that I have really taken the surface out, and which is excellent because uh, yeah, we 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 want the paint to stick on this, right? So hope this is all right. As I mentioned earlier that this thing is poking out, I'm going to sand this down. So it's been four days doing this paint job and let's take the masking tape out and see some results. I guess uh, let's start over here. Hope this looks all right. Oh yeah. All right, okay. Wow, that looks cool. Okay, one down. A lot more to go. Okay, cool, cool. That looks all right. This um, little bit of the paint bleed, but I guess uh, it's, it's very, very minor. So that's fine. Check it out. Pretty cool, eh? Uh, yeah, it's exactly what I wanted, but let's take out this masking tape to show the the silver part and Hopefully it looks good If I can take it out. All right, let's start off with this. Here we go. Let's do it together No counting whatever. That's just what all right. Here we go All right Whoa Cool. Well, I guess there's not much you can see here, right? But it's only the side. Now here comes the the main juice of the paint job. You can't really see it. Whoa. All right, screw this. I'm just gonna rip it off. No more, no more suspense. Just freaking take it out. Oh, I guess we can start here. Okay, let's do this. What? Oh, wow, that's so cool. Whoa, check it out. It's like opening a birthday gift. Except that it's so damn sticky. Alright. Check it out, guys. That looks pretty cool. Obviously the mesh will come here and we'll have like 
silver block and yellow and black. This is really nice. And I didn't put the black stripes here because I wanted to keep this yellow. So we got, you know, the IO ports over here. Wow, this looks great. It's very nice. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Let's uh, open this one. Whatever. Let's just film the whole thing. Yeah. Just kidding, guys. I'm just going to fast forward some bits. All right, guys. So this is the overview of like the main part of the Cougar QBX Kaze. Um, but as you notice that I forgot to paint this bit, damn, and also this bit, ah, what the hell, and also the case of, I mean, the sliding optical thing over here, damn it, so I guess, uh, we have to postpone this, uh, video release to one more day because we have to wait for the paint to dry up, right, so, hmm, I'll quickly do that. And uh, yeah, let's work on some other stuff. So this is the side panel. And as you can see that in the previous uh, few minutes ago, um, yeah, I've managed to sand this down. This is the, the other side, but I, I didn't bother sanding this down because we're not putting an acrylic window on this guy. But this one we've sanded down and then we can manage to put the nice acrylic into the into this this curve or this 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 I don't know what you, how do we call it this gradient yeah that's that's a better word Oh guys, in case you were wondering, and I forgot to mention, uh, this is a PSU cover. So it's gonna locate over here on the right hand side. It's because uh, the PSU will be right here, right? So guys, that was an adventure. Well, that was fun. I think it took me uh, one week and a couple of days, one week, three days. And um, yeah, it was it was really fun. I mean, like along the way, I learned quite a lot of things. And uh, yeah, just, just to quickly cover little things as you might notice that I haven't finished the GPU backplate. I think I'm gonna do a part two on this uh, this Cougar QBX Kaze mod and uh, yeah definitely I'm gonna add like the the PC parts inside obviously uh, there's nothing in there and uh, yeah guys let's let's just like quickly look around and do like a 360 degrees view so yes obviously this is the side panel and I'm very very proud of this area because before it didn't have a side panel and now we can peek through the you know 
the motherboard, the CPU cooler, and the graphics card. Hopefully, I'll do some some you know some matching design with the case, obviously. So that should be cool. And um, on, on the front, yeah, it, it it looks it looks very neat. It looks like um, you know, hopefully, it looks like one of those cases that come out from the factory, right? And uh, on the on the other side, there's not much going on over here. But uh, yeah, this is the yeah, it's not not much, just only painting. And um, with the paint job, guys, I noticed that uh, if you spray it like the normal way, like if you spray it, spray the paint. I'm, I'm talking about I'm talking about this paint, guys. If you spray it like like far away, like a normal uh, spray paint, it doesn't really create that uh, hammered effect. But like as I noticed that if I spray it really close, well not really close, but like closer than normal, you get this really nice hammered effect. You guys see that? Yeah, it's pretty cool, right? Eh? And over here as well. Yeah, it's very nice. I, I, I really like that. And uh, yeah, so it turned out to be exactly what I wanted. I really like this PSU side panel. And uh, yeah, I remembered uh, when I built this, uh, this PC over here it was just like plain black or whatever your PSU you know it's it's really dull and boring so it's good that we've covered this area and uh, over here remember there's like gonna be like a bunch of cables so that'll be hidden that's that's really excellent so guys this was an excellent modding experience and um, yeah and other things that I learned throughout the way is that I learned how to use the Dremel Where's the Dremel tool? This tool right here, yeah, it's the Dremel 3000, I guess. Uh, yeah, it's, it's very handy. You can do all these like cutting metals and like uh, make, make uh, sanding and also like do uh, brushes and things like that. I have to learn how to use more on that. So that, that's an excellent tool. And uh, yeah, guys, so I guess this is the end of the video. And I hope you guys really enjoyed it. And well, I enjoyed it very much. And uh, yeah, unfortunately, it took me a while because uh, I, I have like, you know, a job, nine to five job. And so like th the only time I can do this is like after work. And since we have to wait for the paint to dry for like 24 hours and, you know, I just want to make it really stick, you know, like really durable, you know, like see, look, I'm scratching it. Well, I'm not scratching it that hard, but like, see that it's kind of durable. Yeah, I wanted to leave it like really long so it's like, you know, when I hold it, it doesn't fall off or anything like that, which is excellent. Um, yeah, let's, uh, let's check out at the back if you guys are interested. So, not much going on at the back, but like, uh, yeah, it's still black as usual. Okay, so, guys, well, thanks very much for uh, watching. And uh, if you really enjoyed this video, please press the like button. And if you guys haven't subscribed yet, don't, fit, don't forget to subscribe because I'm probably going to do some more modding and doing some uh, PC reviews. And uh, hopefully to catch you guys later and see you in another video, guys. Bye-bye. Okay, let's zoom out. Bye. Wow, that's so cool, okay? Okay, let's just do it like from far away. Wow. Very nice. Oh yeah, I didn't I didn't show you guys the IO ports. Very neat. I like it. Okay, seriously. All right, see you later guys. Uh yeah, let, let, let's let's do another shot here. Wow. Okay. Guys, oh yeah, uh, if you have any questions or like uh any uh, concerns or or, or if you plan to even mod your computer, or maybe you can just, uh, you know, put some comments down below. And uh, if any of you, like, pro modders wat watching this, maybe you can give me some tips or, like, something that I can improve on. That will be great. Okay? Okay, guys. Okay, see you later. I'm, I'm really going now. Okay, bye.